on how to use Popcorn Maker for your TV analysis assignment. So first of all, of course, you'll go to popcorn.webmaker.org, and this is the interface that will pop up. The first thing you're going to want to do is sign in and you'll be prompted to create a new account when you sign in. I already have an account, so uh, I'm already given the account information and I can just go ahead and sign in on my own. So once you're signed in and you've created an account, this is what things will look like. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over here to Project on the right-hand side, click on that tab, and give your project a title. So you could call it whatever you want, TV Analysis Assignment. Um, and we'll just go with that. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is bring in the video that you're going to be using for your assignment. So I'll go back to the assignment page. Uh, and this is on Canvas, so you can just copy and paste if you want to do that, so you don't have to type out the entire YouTube link. And so let's say I want to use the America's Next Top Model video. I'll highlight that YouTube link, hit Command Copy, uh, I'm sorry, Command C or Control C, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC, to copy that. Then come back to Popcorn Maker and make sure that you're in the tab under Media and My Media. And then right here where it says Paste a YouTube link, I'm going to click there and Command V or Control V to copy in my YouTube link and then click Create Media. And what will happen here is Popcorn Maker is going out and grabbing that YouTube video and then it places it here in my media gallery. So what I'm going to do next then is bring this video into Popcorn Maker. And so I'll drag it and I can just drag it right here. You'll see that this rectangle highlights. Drop it right there. <laughs> And you'll see two things. So one, the video shows up here in this window, and then it also shows up on the timeline down here at the bottom. And so if I click this little button for play over here, the video plays, right? And you'll see that there's a little playhead down here that uh, shows where we are in the video and you can move that around and the video will jump to different places. You'll see that reflected up here at the top. And so what we're going to do next is add some little text comments. So to do that, you're going to come back over here on the right hand side and click on events. And you'll see there's a bunch of different events you can choose from. The one that I'm going to recommend you use is called pop-up. And so to add a pop-up, We'll go to where we want to add a little text comment in the video. Uh, oh, that's nice. Uh, let's move along a little bit further to something a little bit more interesting. Let's see. Okay, let's say we want to add something here about what's going on with the way that historical reality is presented in America's Next Top Model. Then I'll come over here in, under Events and grab this pop-up and hold, click and hold and drag it onto the video. And you'll see two things happen. One is that we get this little pop-up that shows up here, but then we also see it down here in our timeline. So I can double click um, oops, within this pop-up, try that again, and it will allow me to add my own text. So I can say something about how um, this TV show represents I can type correctly. Mainstream ideals of beauty, right? Something very simple. Of course, I expect you guys to add something that's a little bit more sophisticated, but just to get us started, here's a little comment that suggests that this TV show is saying something about uh, ideals and ideology around beauty. So I type that in, I hit return, then I can move this around anywhere on the screen here. And what happens, now we have that showing up at this little spot in our timeline. This is at about a minute and 51 seconds in. And if I bring this back and then hit play again, here's what happens. The video will play in theory. Petition on the computer. 
There we go. And we'll see our pop-up show up. There it is. And then it goes away. Okay, so we've added a pop-up. It shows up where we want it to be in the timeline. Uh, it, go, it pops up and then it goes away when it's done. But you can also, there's little handles on here. If you hover over it, there's little arrows. You could drag that out to make it longer if you want it to stay on screen longer. And you can grab it and move it around if you want it to appear slightly earlier or slightly later in the video. Okay, so that's one pop-up. Now, anytime you want to add another pop-up, you just come back uh, on the right-hand side here to Events, click on Events, and then drag in a pop-up. Double-click uh, and add, I'm not sure why it's doubling that, um, but double-click to add your text comment. Hit Return, position it where you want it to go. Again, you'll see that this one has shown up in the timeline again, and then keep doing that until you have all of your comments. Now another thing that I will point out is if we come back to our, our pop-up and we highlight that by clicking on it, you'll see that we get some other options that show up over here on the right-hand side under our pop-up. So we can do things like change whether this is a pop-up to a speech bubble, right? And you'll see that it changes its, form, uh, its format over here. We can make it a thought bubble. So it can kind of look like it's coming out of a character's mind. If we go back to pop-up, we can change the icon over here from an eye to a man or to a skull or to whatever you want it to be, a TV. And that little icon will change over here if you want to add a little sort of extra comment about why this, what this comment is trying to say. So you can play with some of these different options over here. I'll let you just explore those. And then last but not least, when you are ready to save, then you want to come up to the top, make sure that you hit save, right? There's this little save button here. It'll again prompt you for a title. We've already given it a title. Um, give you some other options here. You don't really have to worry about those too much. And then click save. And once you've saved it, then if we come over here to project, you'll see it gives you a link, right? And this is the, a link that corresponds to my account on Popcorn Maker. And then you want to copy that, and that's what you're going to paste into Canvas. Okay, so to turn in your final project, you want to make sure that you copy this project link. Don't copy the URL at the top. That's going to give you something different. Make sure that you copy this project link and then you can just post that on Canvas. And then you're all done. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, have fun with your projects.